XML files don't have to be a headache anymore. If you ever opened up one and felt overwhelmed by all the tags and nested data, this tutorial is exactly what you needed. Today, we're breaking down how to use Power Query to turn those complex XML files into clean, structured data that you can work with. Whether you're managing large data sets, automating workflows, or prepping for data for analysis, this is a step-by-step -step guide and it'll help you save time and frustration. By the end of the video, you'll not only understand the process, but also feel confident applying it to your own projects. So grab a cup of coffee, open up your Power Query, and let's simplify XML files together. Here I've got my Excel file, and I am going to bring in my XML document. And the XML file is going to look like this. Uh, the syntax is pretty simple, but let's turn this into a table format where we can easily manipulate it. So go into Data and get Data from File from XML. This will bring in my import data. I'm going to search for my file. It's called bookstore.xml. Click on Import, and it's going to bring it into the Navigator window where I can select the file that has that or the uh, worksheet that has that. So it has it here and click transform data. It's going to bring it in. And what I can do now is I can just bring it in and click close and load to bring it into a worksheet as a table. But let's change some things first. These are all in lowercase. Let's make this proper case. And what we need to do, it's already done a lot of the navigation, a lot of the steps for us to bring it in. And here we're going to add an extra step and we're going to click on the FX button. Take this control C to cut because we're going to need that change type because that's the command name of this previous step. We're going to need that later on. Table transform column name. That's the one I need. Table transform column names here. Click on that. Open parentheses. Control V to paste that previous step. And the text transformation I want to do is text text dot proper. So we can do uppercase, we can do lowercase. These are all lowercase for now but we're going to use proper. Click on that, press enter, and click outside. You can see that it's changed these all to proper. Click close and load. It's going to put it into a new worksheet here, and we have our XML syntax file put into a proper table format. We can do further transformation on this, do pivot tables, etc. And that's how you turn an XML file into a table with Power Query. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps support the channel and ensures more people can discover this content. And if you're looking to dive deeper into Power Query or explore other data tools, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.